U.S. stocks gave up initial gains to trade near the flat line after the government's much-anticipated monthly jobs report showed a bigger-than-expected increase in October payrolls. The Dow Jones Industrial Average slipped 1 point, or less than 0.1%, to 13,232 in the minutes after the opening bell. The Dow had rallied 136 points, or 1%, on Thursday to post the biggest one-day gain in seven weeks. The Standard & Poor's 500 stock index added two points, or 0.1%, to 1429 Friday morning. TripAdvisor and Priceline.com led the index after the travel booking companies both reported better than expected. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Third quarter results. The Nasdaq Composite Index ticked down two points or 0.1% to 3018. U.S. job growth accelerated in October, though the unemployment rate tipped higher. Non-farm payrolls rose by 171,000 last month. That topped the 125,000 median forecast to the economist hope by Dow Jones Newswires. The unemployment rate, obtained by a separate survey of U.S. households, rose one-tenth of a percentage point to 7.9%, matching economist forecasts. It was certainly better than expected, which is always a good sign, said Joseph Chenayu, global markup strategist at JP Morgan JPM negative 0.39%. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Funds. I would characterize it as marginally positive in that it beat consensus, but the overall theme remains in place. We are continuing to see a very slow recovery in the labor market. At 10 a.m. Eastern, Factory orders for September are seen increasing 4.9% on the month, after falling 5.2% in August. European markets extended gains after the U.S. labor data, with the stocks Europe 600 up 0.6%. The final reading of markets October Purchasing Managers Index for the Eurozone was revised up slightly to 45.4 from a previous reading of 45.3. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Still, that marked the 15th consecutive month of contraction in manufacturing activity for the region. Asian markets were broadly higher on the back of strong gains in the U.S., resulting from encouraging economic data. Japan's Nikkei stock average rallied 1.2%, and China's Shanghai Composite rose 0.6% to post the fourth straight gain. Crude oil futures lost 0.9% to $86.25 a barrel, while gold futures gave up 1.2% to $1,695.60 an ounce. The dollar gained against both the euro and the yen. In other corporate news, shares of Starbucks SBUX plus 10.43% climbed after reporting fiscal thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Fourth quarter earnings that beat expectations, boosted by strong customer traffic growth in the Americas, and nudged up its fiscal 2013 earnings outlook. Lincoln rallied after the company reported third quarter earnings and revenue that were well above analyst expectations and raised its full year revenue outlook. American International Group AIG negative 5.26% slid after the insurer reported better than expected third quarter earnings and revenue but also said it was still too early to provide an estimate of the financial impact of Sandy. The stock was up 52% so far this year ahead of the release. Guess thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Dropped after the apparel maker said to senior executives, its chief financial officer and chief operating officer, had resigned to pursue other interests. Respiration hardware surged as the furniture retailer began trading on the New York Stock Exchange. Respiration's initial public offering had priced at the high end of its expected range. Dilek Logistics Partners and South Cross Energy Partners both rose in their trading debuts. The two energy companies also began trading on the NICE Friday.